So, National League, it's Southend versus Woking. Here at Roots Hall Stadium down in Southend. We're about to get underway. Our referee is Ryan Atkin. So, corner for Kretschmas. Neither team able to break the deadlock and it's whipped in. Again, doesn't really beat the first defender though. And it's cleared. It's Bridge up against Lofthouse. Lofthouse does well, holds his line, heads it clear. Now it's chested down by Loza. About 30 yards out, Loza running to the byline, whips the ball in the back post. Tavon Cowell touches it down, he's in the penalty box. Good touch, quick feet, shoots low and into the bottom corner. Tavon Campbell has scored again for Woking. That's 10 goals in 13 games for him. Great celebration and it's Woking 1, South End 0. Beautifully taken and uh, yeah, he was uh, on the edge of the area. It was one on one. He just needed to make enough space and he hit it low. He hit it particularly hard, but it was hard enough to beat the keeper. He finds Dolby. Dolby sets it back to Brunt. Brunt goes past Ince with ease. And then Ince does well, using those long legs of his just to reach around and nick the ball back. Good defensive play in the end from Rohan. Ince thought he was beaten. Yeah. And now Woking try and break. Good hold-up play from Campbell. He finds Wabuke, just pokes it out to Lofthouse on that right-hand side. Lofthouse driving centrally, plays it through to Loza in the box. Loza tries to shoot first time. Great Did break. Great break from Woking. From this. Can they double their lead? That's Josh Casey plays in an in-swinger. Goalkeeper's there to punch it clear. And then Wabuke up against Bridge, hits it forward. Good play by Champion, just to keep it alive for the cards. It's out now to Casey's in loads of space down that right-hand side, drives into the penalty box, sets it back for Diara. But it's good defending in the end from Hobson, who gets there for Murphy now. He's up against Wabuke, he's trying to block him. And Wabuke does well, just to put some pressure on the player and then nick the loose ball off, off them. So Woking with Wabuke, he tries to set it out to Loza and then that's a bad challenge from the South End man. Referee not interested though. And the play carries on. It's white. South End coming forward. The fans clapping the referee for allowing play on. Phillips coming forward for South End. Nicked off his toes. And then it's hit forward looking for Campbell. Campbell's got two defenders in front of him. There's a lot of space outside on that right hand side. Campbell, he just slows up the play. I thought that was a dangerous tackle, actually. I don't know if you. I, well, I, I thought some of the some of the free kicks that the, the referee has given. I thought I thought that. Yeah, I agreed. I think. But here we are, working pressing well. Kretschmar plays it into Johnson. Johnson's got one in front of him. He's in the penalty box. He shapes to shoot. Johnson shoots and it crashes off the crossbar, and out for a goal kick. Great play from Tyreek Johnson to get into a little bit of space and then fire off that shot. Well, we were saying earlier, does Tariq Johnson have a right foot? And that was his right foot. Defensive it? duty up against Dalby. Good. Ball's coming forward, though, it's Brunt. Hi, Joe. Yeah, it's still 1-0 to Woking, but Tyreek Johnson just crashed an effort across the crossbar, and Southend are actually coming forward now. So it's pretty tight here. It's Southend nil, Woking 1. It's up with Brunt now on the edge of the penalty box. Brunt trying to get a little bit of space he sets it back whipped into the box back post for Dolby he flicks it on and then it's good header from Musa Diara Diara up against Murphy and Diara got there first used his head cleared the ball good defensive play and, uh, and Joe McNerney ball hit long again from a goal kick Bridge plays it through to Murphy Murphy turns and shoots bounces off the turf and straight into the goalkeeper's gloves though In this second half, the ball's fired into the Woking box. Musa Diara can't deal with it, and it's a shot by Dolby. And then it it's hit over the crossbar. Early moment of danger for Woking. I thought South were going to equalise straight after the first half whistle, and they've got a corner. Easily their best chance of the game. Uh, it was a long ball in. Uh, Diara, sadly, exactly. in the season we, we were relegated, but uh, he played for a couple of years, I think. Uh, I uh, can't remember which club he came from. Oh, here's Jari Johnson with a bit of space. So it's out with Loza. He's running to the byline, whips the ball across. And it's a good clearance in the end from Harry Phillips. Yeah. So Brunt over this one, Sheffield United Loney, whips the ball in. It's a good ball. It's headed up, not out. Still in the penalty box. And Reese Murphy's there at the back stick. Tries to volley at home. It's it well over the bar, though. 
poor finish in the end oh. from the good clearance in the end from Dunn. Kretschmar takes the throwing quickly into the feet of Campbell, who flicks it round the corner for Loza, shoots. Good effort. Hits off a South End player, though, and then Ince tries to, sh tries to get a shot. It's back to Campbell, and Campbell shoots just wide of the post. Very, very dangerous attacking moment from Woking Lane, this referee, what he's giving this game. Ball's whipped in, back stick, lofted up, and Dolby gets down. Good header from Craig Ross, though. He got down early, got his hands to it and cleared it, conceded. Sam Dalby managed to get a header down, unable to do so. It's now out with Lofthouse on this near-hand side, up against Ralph. Lofthouse trying to go past him, using his body well to try and shield it. Loses out, though, and it's now with Dunn. It's now with Murphy. He's got a bit of space on the edge of the box, slides it through to Brunt. Brunt's in the penalty box, but ints his back, manages to get the ball, and it's stuck underneath Brunt's feet. He's trying to get away, shoots, and shanks it wide. Left-hand side of the post, out for a goal kick. All up front, and making his presence felt. Only four goals this season so far for an EFE on, but his hold-up play has been very, very good and his teamwork with Tavon Campbell as well. And it's hit forward now looking for EFE on. He brings it under his spell on that left-hand side on the corner of the penalty box. He's driving forward, tries to go around his man, lays it back to Johnson who gets dispossessed. Although good work from EFE to win it back. He sets it back to Johnson. He then feeds it to Ince. Ince ball around the corner for Kretschmar, he's out by the byline, he sets it back to Effion. Good passing here from Woking, good possession in the, the final third. Johnson tries to go around his man, whips the ball into the box and then it goes and takes a deflection near the near post and off for a goal kick for South End. Yeah, Effion has made his presence felt already, holding up the ball well. South End. I think it's Brunt over it, he whips the ball and it's a good ball, header comes up and wide of the post. So yeah, Southend really, really going for it in this second half. You know, nearly 6,000 fans urging their team on. Ball flick forward, Campbell, he's got three around him, but he's doing well, Tavon Campbell. He's in the box and then it's a good challenge in the end from Hobson to clear it out for a throw in. Woken defending very deep now, most Southend players forward. Can Woking hang on to this lead? We know that they've conceded a lot of late goals recently. I know that Ian, you'll remember. I think it's Maidenhead, a couple of late goals. Yes. Hence Perhaps. why I'm a little bit nervous at the moment. Ball hit forward for Kretschmar, who's latched onto a ball. He's in the penalty box. Max Kretschmar takes a shot, takes a deflection. Goalkeeper's there. And then it's out for a corner. Dangerous, dangerous moment. Well, I thought Max Kretschmar was going to finish it for the, the South End fans. And they need him and their team to really come up with the goods in this final four minutes if they're going to get away without losing again in the National League. Ince on the edge of the penalty box, lays it forwards to Kretschmar. Kretschmar releases, takes a deflection, and it's a penalty. Referee is given a penalty. I think it's for a handball. As Ian's mentioned, that post in the way, but Kretschmar shot. The ball was blocked, and I think it was blocked with a hand. So it's going to be a penalty, and it is Kretschmar. Big deep breath from the player. Runs up, hits it, lifts it into the roof of the net, and it's a great, great penalty. And he runs towards the Woking fans who are absolutely chuffed with him. And that looks like Woking are heading for three points, Ian. Certainly looks like it. I'm never, I'm never, <laughs> I'm never relaxed in a Woking game. But uh, no, it certainly looks like it. And uh, mid table. South end coming forward, ball played into the box, Wabuke's there. He then sets Kretschmar away, who accelerates over the halfway line and then plays it round the corner for Effion. Effion, good quick feet, drives into the box. In the Effion again, great close control, whips it across the box, and there is Max Kretschmar who heads it down into the ground, but straight at the goalkeeper behind the south end goal and there is the whistle full time here in South End and it's a valuable and very crucial three points for Woking. It was a very gutsy performance, very disciplined performance.